Hydra is a great way to bring expressive lip sync to your characters without having to record yourself acting. Hydra is the only lip sync I've seen that does well with profile shots and wide shots, which gives you a lot more creative freedom. In this Hydra tutorial, I'm going to compare results using different types of audio you can lip sync. We'll look at how well it does with characters in profile, and we'll try making characters talk who don't have conventional human features. I know people like doing anime, and this is how Hydra performs with anime lip sync. Okay, let's dive into Hydra lip sync. Once we're on Hydra's site, let's choose video. Make sure you're on Hydra character 3. Right now, Hydra only does images as inputs, so you can't use a video. So let's choose an image. That's me and an alien. All right, let's pretend like we're making a sci-fi movie and they're trying to get precious cargo home. There are three ways to add audio. We can generate it record it or upload it. Let's start with generate. First, let's choose a voice. And these are Eleven Labs voices that you may be familiar with. I'm gonna pick Clyde. I'll paste my dialogue in there. And if you want, you can generate a preview, then download that audio. But in this case, I'll just click add to video and then generate it with this arrow. Here's the problem. We're running out of fuel and the only place to harvest solenite crystals is your planet. If we go there and they catch us together, it starts a war. What's in our cargo could save my world, but getting caught could wipe out both of ours. Okay, that's expressive, but not as believable as I want. I'm gonna click reuse prompt. That loads my image and audio in there. I'm gonna click the audio, then delete the existing text-to-speech file so I can record from scratch. One thing I don't like is that if you're working off of one monitor, there's no way to see your script. So you have to kind of creatively arrange windows to see the script and record button like I'm doing here. So I'm gonna record directly from my laptop. And you can start over if you mess up. You can also trim the beginning and end of the clip, but you can't cut something out of the middle. So if you mess up in the middle, start over. Let's see how that turns out. If we go there and they catch us together, it starts a war. That's okay, but it sounds like a guy who does AI tutorials on YouTube. So let's change my voice back to Clyde's voice. One thing I love about Hydra is that Eleven Labs voice changer is built in, meaning it's really easy to turn your voice into your character's voice. This voice changer is helpful if you wanna record how the lines are delivered for all of your characters and you wanna use a different voice for each. What's in our cargo could save my world but getting caught could wipe out both of ours. What's in our cargo could save my world, but getting caught could wipe out both of ours. One of the big advantages Hydra has right now is that you can do lip sync with wider shots as well as shots that are in profile. Let's try this shot. I imagine this is later in the movie where we have the fuel crystals, but they're not working. This time I recorded my voice in advance. You might do this if you wanna edit multiple takes before lip syncing. So I'll upload that one. Once it's uploaded, I can change my voice to Clyde's voice. Let's see how this profile shot looks. <sighs> These solenite crystals aren't working. The only way to recharge them is inside the reactor. We're going to need disguises. Good ones. This is great in my opinion. You've got a wide shot of a silhouetted profile and it's expressive with body movement. This is what Hydra is the best at right now. All right, now I wanna try a non-human looking character. Because lip sync models are trained on human faces, lip sync doesn't always work unless the characters have human facial features. If our characters were talking about wearing disguises in the last scene, I picture this is the guard they're trying to deceive with those disguises. First, let's try this face and we'll switch my voice to a female voice. Something about you looks different, but if you need to recharge that crystal, go ahead and use the reactor. All right, now let's try this character and let's switch to text to speech for this. Something about you looks different, but if you need to recharge that crystal, go ahead and use the reactor. And finally, let's try this guy who looks a little more human, maybe a little bit like me, and give him yet another voice. Something about you looks different, but if you need to recharge that crystal, go ahead and use the reactor. So if you don't want to do a performance like you have to do for Runways Act 1, I think Hydra is a really good option. For me, the expressions on close-ups are a little too exaggerated, and the motion tends to look kind of similar. But if you're creating a movie that has wide shots where people are talking or profile shots, I think Hydra is your best bet. All right, thank you for watching. Uh, check out my other tutorials about AI filmmaking and lip sync and basically anything related to AI video. All right, go make something cool with AI.